tell us about this full data set. We just saw data on about 8 of 45 patients, at least in terms of neutralizing antibodies up until this point, now 45 out of 45. How do they affect how you're looking at the likelihood of having a safe and effective vaccine for the coronavirus? Good morning, Meg. Uh, yes, indeed. We saw data that we this vaccine can induce neutralizing antibodies in everybody who got vaccinated. This is, of course, uh, reassuring to us and I think puts us on a positive path towards a large phase three trial with which we hope to demonstrate the safety and efficacy. Let me tell you what it is that we actually saw. So first of all, this study was run by the National Institutes of Health, and I give them a lot of credit for stepping into the fray uh, very early in the pandemic to both run the study and set up all the science that's needed in order to analyze it. And what they've demonstrated now is that with our vaccine, with this mRNA vaccine, we're able at a dose that is pretty well tolerated to demonstrate neutralizing antibodies and these are the antibodies that can actually block the virus's ability to get into the cell. And that's why everybody is so laser focused on this. And at that dose, when we give our vaccine with a prime and a boost, so you start and then a month later you come and give another booster shot, as you often do with vaccines, we can achieve a level of neutralizing antibodies in every participant who got the vaccine. And not only that, if you look at the average levels at which we can achieve these antibodies, it is at or above levels that you can see in people who've actually been sick with coronavirus. And the reason that's important is that, to the best of our knowledge today, if you've been sick with COVID-19, you're unlikely to get sick again, at least not in the near-term future, uh, based on the data that we have today. So if we can get your immune response to recognize that part of the virus that allows your immune response to prevent it from replication at levels that are there or higher, I think it bodes well, we believe, for the potential of this vaccine to ultimately prevent COVID-19 disease. Of course, this is a brand new virus and the understanding of the protection one gets after infection is still evolving. Uh, how would you say you know, your data really stack up against our understanding, both in terms of neutralizing antibodies and a T cell response that you saw uh, in participants as well as to how protective this vaccine really could be? That's a great question. And so we don't yet know. And so we're trying to look at the strands of science and what it will teach us. And I think what you can see here is sort of three different strands converging to give us this optimism. The first is that we understand this virus well enough, both from experiments done with this virus, as well as its close cousins, SARS and MERS, that this spike protein is really the critical piece of the virus that you need to block with your immune system. And we've uh, shown that in preclinical models, we and others as well. So that's the first point. The second point is that we know from other studies of transferring plasma from people who've been sick and recovered to people who are now sick, that it is these neutralizing antibodies that are, um, are what you measure to say that indeed that plasma should help somebody get better. So this is now not preventing disease, but actually trying to help somebody who's right now sick from getting worse. And so that's another line of evidence to point at this. I think the final part for us is the fact that we have an understanding of our platform. This is not our first phase one. In fact, it's the ninth positive uh, virus that, that we can show neutralizing activity against. So we've seen with this platform time and again that we are able to induce neutralizing antibodies. And the fact that we can do so at a dose that's safe and well tolerated, and we can do so to a level that's at or above what you see in that convalescent plasma, I think is what is so promising in the news today. 